I'm back. <laughs> I tribe hope you guys are well. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Toby Tobeka. Hashtag Toby Rose, that's what everyone calls me, and I'm a travel and lifestyle content creator and YouTuber. So, if you have not already seen by the title of this, I am answering all your questions around my Maldives trip. Um, and I can't wait for you guys to know a little bit more about that. I am literally going to give you guys all the tea that you need. But before that, please do not forget to be a part of the tribe. All you need to do is press that red button below. It, it's down it's down somewhere press it and you'll be a part of my amazing tribe also put on your notification bells it's the bell at the bottom so you are notified every time I have a new video out and obviously put a nice comment below put a thumbs up and tell people that this is the coolest dopest travel and lifestyle content you have seen on YouTube because it is all right let's get right into it but what i'm going to do before i do that is really just do the basics and if there are any questions that i haven't covered i will cover those at the end all right let's get into it so before we actually begin i wanted to let you guys know that this trip was not paid by myself full transparency it was basically a trade exchange it was a trip planned by um the organizers prior to escapes for us to see different locations and offerings that they have in terms of maldives and the trips that they offer um and so there was a lot of media and i was possibly one of the only content uh creators on that trip who was sole purpose was to basically create content um and share the the trip with you guys which was not a have to um but it was a trade exchange and so just to give you guys full clarity around that i did not pay for it myself it was a sponsored trip cool first thing i'm going to do is take you guys through the different um accommodations that we stayed in and why it was important for us to stay in different ones um taking into consideration that we spent possibly one night or two at most per location so it was quite a quick rush type of a, a trip and so everything i will say please do take it with a little bit of a pinch of salt because we were running really really quick doing a lot of things at one time um, and so when you go you will possibly be booking a seven day stay and that's how they work um, at priority escapes who plan and curate the maldive trips for south africans and other people so you can still book with them but they do prioritize us yes <laughs> all right i'm going to take you through six of them right and how each of them fared or i guess how each of them had a different thing for everyone else you know so the first one that we went to was kurumati super 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 beautiful we did arrive there like a little bit late um and i don't think we spent enough time there they have such an array of different accommodations that accommodate different people so it's not necessarily if i can say in my head a couple's um place it is extremely big uh we did a little tour around the property and it's huge they have a lot of rooms starting at normal water villas to family villas where friends can also uh, stay i stayed in one of those that had a direct access to the beach which is amazing and then they have others that have the beach and a specific pool it's huge there's a lot of restaurants great food um it's also so much more established than all the others that we saw it has been around for long um and it is really well run um there's buggies that will take you from point a to b or you have to walk um but kuramati for me is family vibes they do have a um children's um i guess what do you call it they have an amazing um kids club there where you can literally leave your kids for like the whole day and actually enjoy as a couple they have a beautiful spa they have restaurants they have bars so it is quite big and we didn't get to overly experience kromati it was our first day and obviously we're all a bit tired but i absolutely loved it um the cocktails were great i think the cocktails are great anywhere everywhere there um and so that is chromatic for me right let's get into the second location that we went to so the second um location that we went to or accommodation that we went to or whatever you want to call it was the standard maldives 
it's I've got a soft spot for the standard because we were there for two nights and it's just a different vibe. You walk in there and it's like the interior is so eclectic and young and youthful. Um, they too have different accommodations to suit anybody, um, but I would possibly position uh, the standard to be more friends, a French trip place. Um, the, the staff is young and hip and they want you just to drink the whole day. Um, they make you feel like a part of it they always throw a random event every night there'll be a movie night maybe the next night they'll have a little party um the bars there's two different bars it's also not as big as kurumati so you do feel like you can walk around the whole island and you can walk around the whole establishment and not feel like you're gonna get lost which i loved so they're amazing they have Beirut's bar they have spa loved the spa that was one of my favorite things that we did they have amazing activities in terms of sea activities beautiful rooms so there's a lot to do actually there you know and it's great to just recharge have fun you can also go there as a couple if you guys like are a fun young couple i would also really 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 say this place is that for me loved our room it had like this cool disco in the room i'm sure you guys have watched the vlogs and if you haven't please go watch them because this for me is not the full experience you'll see way more on the vlog but definitely have a soft spot for the st standard especially for the staff um they weren't uptight at all you can have chats with them and just chill at the bar and feel like you know you're safe you're good you're happy and you're having a great time and the drinks were banging <laughs> so the third one is also actually like one of my top favorites i'll tell you which is my favorite like towards the end but digali oh they have been, if I'm not mistaken, in operation for five years. Um, and it is absolutely just different, guys. Like, it's clean, minimalistic. Um, it's like a little bit of a grown vibe. I would go to Degali with um, my partner. Um, also has one of the most beautiful sunset bars I've ever experienced in my whole life. Uh, staff is a bit like, not trying to be your friend, you know. But, you know, they like trying type of vibe um i love that you can have ice cream all day they have this little shop not a shop but it's like a little place where you can get ice cream and snacks and that during the day they have a pizza bar they have different uh restaurants um and i loved the food i loved the whole experience at digali and for me digali is just grown sexy beautiful um and it's just elite for me it's top i love it i have to go back to the galley um and yeah i loved it also have an amazing spa and etc and activities so check out that so the last two places we went to are sister um accommodations not too far from one another and they are also quite new so you guys must know that and don't be alarmed and that's why we went to these ones so the first one was oh blue lobingili lobingili i hope i'm saying it right this is like adult only um love loves here <laughs> love loves here and it actually translates to love island so when you get there you get a little rose it's like the little touches guys that i love right um but definitely new so like they still haven't like they don't have so much greenery and all of that because it's a new island and it's newly established so i think they've been open only for three months um also the staff are predominantly female and from all around the world which i loved um and the food was spectacular the br yo guys it's just stunning um i stayed they also have different accommodations but definitely this is love island so you will not see any children um and the bar is beautiful like it's a vibe it's definitely a vibe but it is quite young in its inception but i mean i would check it out i would go back and it was like top notch the last one that we went to also loved it i was so sad we we're only there for one night which is the sister or brother or whatever but under the same old blue um umbrella which is Ob Lu Sangeli. Yes, I remembered. Ob Lu Sangeli, which is ah. Oh. So also like kind of like really luxury, really stunning. Um, all the places we went to weren't like low class or low whatever. It's always really stunning, but it's got great range for you in terms of how you want to pick where you want to go when you are in Maldives, especially when booking with priority escapes, right? So the last one was amazing. The sunrise, the sunset, the room. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, made all in. Actually, all of them. So those are the locations that we went to. And I just wanted to give you guys a rundown. So you guys know I'm going to answer your questions now. Alrighty. Um, 
first question is there a resort where single people don't feel left out yes so in terms of what i went to i definitely would go back to the standard if i was single um but you go have like so we had like these experiences where there was like a lot of guys that we were like seeing and then we saw their girlfriends come and that is ox <laughs> but i would go back like i would go back on a girl's trip or a mixed trip of single people you won't feel weird um at the standard out of all of those um i would definitely go to the standard you won't feel left out at all the staff is amazing and the people that are genuinely there are great you also i met so many people there i think that was the nice thing about the standard you didn't feel like uptight um so we were having chats with like the americans and we made other friends a couple friends so yeah the standard girl <laughs> he does one have to have a pcr negative result or COVID certificate so getting into maldives is super easy for south africans right now you either need to be vaccinated um or you don't need even a pcr i think to get out right so if you're vaccinated you don't need any pcr going or coming back if you're not vaccinated you're not needing a pcr going into maldives but you need a pcr coming into south africa i hope that makes sense so you must do a pcr before leaving the maldives normally the hotel that you've booked with will arrange that for you um prior to you leaving if you are not vaccinated so for me i just think get vaccinated because you don't need a pcr i didn't do a pcr going or coming back so it was absolutely amazing for me cool how many months do I have to save and budget for it? Estimated amount for two people. So it just depends on what package you're taking. So if you go on now to Priority Escapes on Instagram, let me show an example of a trip they have. They actually do have um, packages where you can pay every month um, and that will help you in terms of planning out your trip. But you would be surprised at just how um, cost effective it is booking through Priority Escapes, right? So for example, right now, they have i'm gonna tell you an offer um a launch offer which is going to be for ali fushi which is new that we saw which is sister to um oblu 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 sangeni or lobangili one of the two lobangili yeah which is like sister um close by to there right so let me show you how much you could expect to pay for one of these twenty nine thousand rand 100 rand per person sharing um this would be seven nights all of their packages are seven nights by the way all meals all drinks all flight transfers and taxes included then if you would love to upgrade normally when they give you this it's normally for a um i guess standard room um, and the standard rooms are like lux guys, but this is for a standard room So if you want to now upgrade to a water villa, right? And some of the standard rooms are actually standard rooms to beach if yeah, so you still good um, To upgrade to a water villa, it would be 5,100 per person extra That is crazy to me. The whole trip would cost you 34k if you wanted to be in a luxury villa you would have all your meals all your drinks your flights taxes and seven days in a luxury beautiful place in maldives come on guys i have actually spent around 30k on a trip to wherever i've went and it never included all my meals or my drinks um and so do you get you get you get it you, do you get it yeah so i think if you're gonna say it's 30k maybe give yourself six months and you can put away literally 5k 5 10 15 20 25 30 six months yeah you can put away 5k every month and you're going to the maldives Cool. Next question. Next question. Cost. But I've spoken about cost. I will tell you a little bit more about the other um, stuff that they have. But that was an example. It's on their page currently. So please do go there. And if y'all actually book, please tell them Toby sent you. That would be really nice. Um. Anyway, what is the best time? What is the best time frame goal to set for a vacation Maldives? As I said, probably six months. You can do it in six months. Um or a year plan it for a year trip and you can put away like 2.5 every month um but they do when you inquire with priority escapes you can let them know your goals what you want they the the ones that we visited are not the only um accommodations that they have under the maldives so there's so much to see there's so much to do um and they will always advise you on all of this like terms of activities all of that is obviously extra but they will advise you and give you a nice breakdown um on all of that 
total cost of the trip i don't know um depends you it should be around you can get even a trip for like 25k you can get a trip for 26 this is just an all-inclusive pack without um activities some of the packages they sell do include two activities sometimes include like a massage and something else everything is like kind of tailor-made and can be tailor-made to your needs at that specific time um hi to be love to say which day was all inclusive of price okay all of the stays that we were on and that we got express was all inclusive um sometimes at specific um resorts they all inclusive will possibly be specific cocktails and then you will have to pay extra for specific other cocktails it is all dependent on the resort you have chosen and what that resort offers so please do be, be super specific when you are inquiring with priority escapes in terms of your needs what you would like for me the all inclusive package was perfect um all the cocktails that i loved were on there um some shots were on there uh some wines were on there so it's every meal they will show you um what is inclusive and what is excluded and if you would love something specific please do speak to one of the agents at priority escapes how long did it take to prepare for the trip um i mean like a week <laughs> as i said i did not pay for the trip so it took me like i had actually found out about the trip a week before we had to leave and all i needed was to get clothes and that was it and we were out does the traveling agency use assistant getting a visa to go to the Maldives? We do not need a visa to go to the Maldives. You just need uh, your passport, your South African passport, a vaccination certificate if you are vaccinated, and a PCR negative test coming back into South Africa if you are not vaccinated. So it's super easy to get in, and I think that's exactly why South Africans are loving Maldives as a destination. Hey, Sis Tobes, what are the extra costs and how much were they? So extra costs were normally specific drinks if a all-inclusive package maybe didn't include Azul, whatever, you know, a specific drink, then that's an extra cost. Secondly, other extra costs are like souvenirs. There's a lot of the resorts have amazing souvenir shops and they're actually not that bad. I got some stuff and it wasn't that bad. So that's an extra cost. Another extra cost is normally activities. So let's say you want to do something like a private dinner on the beach that will be a, like a little bit of an extra cost or you want to go swimming with the dolphins or going to do other stuff that's an extra cost but the results do have activities that are not at an extra cost that are included in your package and that will be specified to you uh, when you do book so like snorkeling and all of that is normally included so you can snorkel and you can do all those things but there are other extra activities sometimes spa treatments and all of that that are at an extra cost but honestly if you can just maybe like i don't know maybe like put away 10k for spending um and i don't think you'll use it because and an all-inclusive package you're eating you're drinking you're having all your meals taken care of um and so it's not that hectic in terms of how much you'll spend extra and then obviously have some money to tip um the staff if you want to do that which travel agency did you use do they cater for private vacations yes so i use priority escapes they are the ones who took me on the trip they do plan private escapes and event i mean not events private um trips if you want to do a growth trip they will plan that out for you and give you an amazing cost payment packages yes they do have payment packages so all you have to do is email this email address here inquire and they will do that for you your favorite destinations okay there are top two destinations that i want to go back to that i love in the maldives is the standard and i'm doing i want to do a ghost trip to the standard and i'm definitely doing that and then god willingly when i have my man I would love to do Degali with him. Um, yeah, and I would possibly do even Degali alone. It's just so, 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 so stunning. So those are the two that I'm really looking forward to going back to. Um, which agency, as I said, it is called Priority Escapes. You can follow them on Instagram now and just send them an inquiry. Right. My cues based on assumption that results are all full board. Yours seems so subjective. But an estimation will do how much should one have for this trip so it all depends um let me go on the on the page now just to show you some of the other packages that they have sorry guys um so they'll do random flash sales they'll do random stuff on the page and you guys have to check that they had a random departure only 
flight thing and resort offer for a seven day package for 17,000 with direct flights and meals and taxes. So everything's very dependent, but you really can go to the Maldives with like 25,000 Rand um, as your budget and talk to them and you guys can go there. So if it's a couple, have 50K and then maybe like 10K for extras but you guys like it's quite possible depending on how you plan it and if you plan it out in a year I think it, it is actually possible or even six months like a lot of the things are per person sharing so you do have to have a partner if you're alone going on a trip it will be a bit more expensive for you so are all packages inclusive of activities example etc 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 all most of the packages with the priority escapes include your flights taxes um all meals drinks it's a full board right but there are other expenses as i said that you would want to would incur such as certain drinks if you are into that or maybe wanting a better room then you would pay a little bit more or you want something romantic on the beach to propose you'll pay for that so those are the extras other than that if you get the package you're drinking you're eating you're sleeping okay in detail travel costs okay as i said travel costs include you having a South African passport. Gee, 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 gee. Get your passports. Uh, and that's it. Go and get vaccinated. And then PCR. And then get your clothes. And then book with Priority Escapes and get on the plane. So it's like Priority Escapes plans and curates the whole trip for you. So they will be like aware and let you guys know. But I will give you a little bit of advice because we spoke to some people who are coming on the trip back with us um, who were there for like honeymoons and stuff. Please research the places that you want to book. Please do your research. And when I say do your research, check Instagram. So go to Toby's story, see where she stayed, which room she stayed, how much that would cost. And then also just do your research. Go on Google. Find out if you really like the place, you know, because we had people that the they said this is what they wanted, they got it, and they weren't really like completely happy with what they got. Do you get me? So please just research the places. I've been to these places. They were all fantastic. But they are all definitely for a different audience. And so if you are in the wrong place, you're not going to like your trip. You know, if you're going with your sister and now you've ended up at this place where it's like totally too coupley and uptight, that's on you. So research. And so when you do go to them, you already kind of know where you would love to stay. You know what I mean? I think that that's what helps. Um, and also the places I stayed at, though. Mm -hmm. So maybe just book where I stayed. <laughs> All right, beachfront villa, beachfront studio, or water bungalow, which is better? I would think I stayed in both, and both are the same. It just depends on what your preferences are. I definitely loved the um, water villas, which is like without a pool, right? So it's just you walk out, and you normally have the beach just in front of you, and then you have the water villa with the pool, which is a up on like stilts. You have the be the the ocean beneath you but you also have a pool that just gives you an option to be like if i'm not really wanting to go into the ocean you can still be swimming you know what i mean so it just depends on your preference how did i survive shots with kenny oh my god i didn't kenny is a guy we met <laughs> him and his girlfriend ah some say being on a beach holiday for seven days can get boring. Your thoughts, um, it just depends on why you're there and why you're doing it, right? So I'm going to say this to you, like, not in the most, like, weirdest way. But if you're going to the Maldives, you're there for the beach, water, drinks, good vibes, and really just to sleep in and enjoy your holiday. Some holidays are really not for you to be out here doing a thousand things every day. Um, and that's what I loved about the Maldives, you know. We had moments of just sitting at the beach, getting sunburned, and drinking cocktails and falling asleep and that was enough but there are enough activities for you to feel busy and i think a lot of people don't understand that and know that that the resorts are built with activities there for you um a lot of the other resorts have like a daily schedule of what's happening tonight we're having a party we're having this we're doing a cooking class whatever it is so just know why you're going there if you're there on a friend trip it's gonna be so fun you're there with the right people you guys are having shots you're having fun and every day you were gonna walk up wake up to the most beautiful view you know but like change up your days maybe do three days and do activities and the other days are there for you to read and connect and just enjoy being there i think we always forget about just enjoying being there and we want to be busy all the time maldives is not for that guys so if you want to go to the maldives do expect lots of sun lots of beach Lots of shots, lots of drinks, and lots of snorkeling, and lots of eating. That's why you're there, and that's why they are normally all-inclusive. It wasn't boring for me. I loved the trip. <laughs>
All right, in terms of travel tickets and that, so Priority Escapes has travel partners. We flew with Air Seychelles and they are their partner, which means that you get a direct flight and it takes eight hours eight hours to get to the Maldives versus 24 hours if you're flying with another airline um, because you're gonna have to go through Dubai so and it's only uh, Priority Escapes that has this deal so if you are a person who doesn't love spending a thousand hours on a flight and all of that I, I mean Priority Escapes yo they do have another partner though so just gotta check that out but if you want to do the direct flight let them know and it's an eight hour eight nine hour flight um, oh, health insurance, health insurance, yes. Also have our health insurance. Someone asked about that. That's a cost. We got ours directly from Priority Escapes. I think I paid 500 Rand and it was done. And they sent it to me. They took my bank details and I got my health insurance. So everything when you're booking with Priority Escapes, they will help you out. Budget, I think I spoke about that, guys. If you want a really nice trip, maybe budget 25 each, maybe budget 30 each, depending on your needs and what you want. Um, and then maybe like 10k for extras, but you won't even use it. I don't think you will. Also, for example, let me give you an example. So in terms of transfers, right, there's different ways to get around the island. So there's a um, speedboat, there's an airplane, seaplane, <laughs> seaplane, speedboat, and something else. So a lot of the time, the transfers that they're going to include are the minimum ones. But if you're just like, I want to get there quick, and I really don't feel like being on this boat and I want to just be in the air and I want to get there fast that's an extra cost for example I want to sit in a nice like lounge waiting for the flight that's an extra cost but sometimes it's not so you gotta just ask the right questions for you to have like a really lax holiday how is local life in Maldives I have no idea but there are local um islands in the Maldives also Town in the Maldives is very, very busy, guys. It's just like cars, this is a good busy. Um, you must also realize around over 90% of the Maldives is tourism. Um, and they just celebrated 50 years in tourism. So when you do go to local islands, there's not much to see. It's lots of fishing islands and all of that. And we didn't do that because a lot of the staff actually live on the island that they work on. Um, because those places are just different islands. There's so many islands in the Maldives. So I have no idea how the local life is. Um, but I did speak to the locals. And I mean, the locals that worked in the um, accommodations. Um, but yeah, other than that, I have no idea. What vaccines did you have to get? Zero vaccine, just the normal COVID vaccine. Um, yeah, that's it. COVID, heavy vaccine. Are there stuff to do? Yes, fun stuff to do, definitely. There's a lot of stuff, guys. There's like underground restaurants, there's um, dolphin excursions, uh, turtle ex excursions, um, snorkeling, um, doing this thing where it goes shh up in the water, like lots of water <laughs> activities are available. You will not be bored, but just have extra money for those extra activities. I don't know exactly the cost breakdown, but when you book, they will let you know. How long was your flight? Eight hours. We did a stop over in the seashells, 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 whatever you want to call it. We did a stop over there to refuel, which took about an hour, and then we were there. So eight hours, super, super easy. How was the food and drinks? Oh my God. So the food is very like inspired by, if you don't know, the Maldives is about an hour and a half away from India. And so there's a lot of like Indian influence in the Maldives. Um, and then you obviously have the traditional Maldivian uh, cuisine. They also did a lot of um, cosmopolitan type of food. So burgers, hot dogs, there's so much variety. The buffet is there. Like if y'all think you've seen a buffet here, the buffet is there. Like all the breakfasts, most of them were buffets and they were just, out of this world like you eat the fruits oh, the juice oh, like fresh and a lot of the stuff is produced there which i loved um the fish oh my gosh so it's good you you'll have a curry if you want to every day or you'll have um paneer which is like an indian cuisine then you'll have the cosmopolitan like it's a mix then you have pizza bars like there's so much for you to choose from you won't go hungry and you won't feel like eh. there were some places where i was like not that impressed with the food but the galley food was good the standard was like eh. it was okay like it was good just not like as punchy and as amazing as like the galley and the others that i went to it's time to visit cool when we visited maldives it was monsoon season that means it's gonna rain but it is also the best time to visit because of costs. Um, and apparently between 
now and like September is also a good time. So like, when was I there last month? Nah, June. Yeah, May. From like May till September is also good. But also, because it's the Maldives and it's hot all year round, you could also opt to do like a December thing in, in the Maldives. Price is also not that bad. So just depends on when you want to go. Monsoon season is great to go to because like it's as cheap as you will probably get and it will probably only rain for two days out of the whole time and then you got good weather also when it was raining it wasn't cold um which was great it was just annoying because then i couldn't really get the content i want to get so yeah just do a little bit of your research but this is monsoon season right now and it is kind of the best time to go and then you also need to check if you're like a water baby and you're into like spotting sharks and turtles and all of that when that time the best time is but it's normally when it's not raining um then you'll see so much more coral and all of that if you are into to that how long did it get to get the visa and there's no visa is it pure relaxation or touristy vibes as i said i would say pure relaxation with the tinge of tourist life because a lot of the people that work there are locals or are from different parts of the world and you know if you come across amazing guys who work there and women that work there you can have amazing discussions and chats and get to know them a little bit more like also other people that are just there you know being able to speak to other guests uh create new relationships and friendships is what i love about traveling um but it is island vibes so what that means is that you'll stay in your island um you don't really have to expect yourself to go far unless it's for an outing or an activity but guys you're there you're in the maldives like you're there to relax and drink and be merry and wake up seeing the beautiful sunrise and be in the water um so i do think maldives is not for everyone if you're really not into doing that type of travel slow travel and and in a work travel and just doing whatever you want to do then maybe it's not for you and that's totally okay so just know why you want to go there i would go there to relax and have a good time with my girls on a beautiful island um and i think there's so many other islands but maldives is quite a special thing um there's just yeah like it's got its thing i get it like i think after you've been there you get it like you get why it's so beautiful and why it is the maldives you know but it is what it is <laughs> is it expensive expensive is very relative to me uh there are packages that priority escapes has for like 24k 25k per person and i'm pretty sure most of you have spent that on a trip that you didn't know was going to cost you that much and you ended up paying it anyway when you put all your costs together but what this does is that it takes away the the the, the work of putting together the trip and curating it um and it includes your flights and it includes your drinks and it includes your meals and it includes your bed and it includes the sunrise and stuff. like do you get my like do you get me i hope you get me um yeah i think we're done we're done so i hope you guys enjoyed this i don't think that the maldives are um what's the word my english has run away not overrated like i don't find it overrated i just think it's the maldives guys and i think it's the same with like going on a safari if you're gonna go to the kruger you know what to expect animals right so if you're gonna go to the maldives you know what to expect the ocean um dolphins sharks good drinks cheers sunset you know what i mean someone actually also asked about um what to pack when you're in the maldives i promise you it is super hot so most of the outfits that i wore were dresses flowy nothing too tight um i usually pack two outfits a day because you're swimming a lot and if you are a woman you know how important it is to be dry down there so you want to have two things so like if you're in your swimming cozy half of the day chilling swimming vibes then you want to change for dinner do that i wore zero percent of makeup it is just too humid for me and i just didn't find the need you will glow honey you will glow um pack uh, lots of slops you hardly wear other shoes um maybe one pack of one one pair of sneakers for like maybe going back to Joburg um, and then like a light jacket will do in case you are there in rainy season um, so yeah like it is really hot it is really free there's no thing of people looking at each other weirdly because you're dressed in a specific way they are a lot of them that are Muslim but they aren't gonna be like shaming you at any point the food also is also a lot of the time halal so if you are um, Muslim you will be 
actually okay there they do a lot of virgin cocktails also um so yeah you won't feel restricted i i i you will see what i've packed i think you'll pack that lots of sunscreen please make sure you have a lot of sunscreen uh your vitamins for the day um you will need medication if you are a bit squeamish in terms of the sea everyone needed it so just like an hour before you get on a seaplane or on a speedboat just pop two of those pills in i did do a video all about this so i think you guys can find all that information on my vlogs but yeah just yeah you'll be good um and maybe like stuff for a stomach bag in case you eat something and it doesn't sit well with you it's the normal things that you'd pack anyway on an international um flight but yeah guys it's absolutely beautiful i will go back i want to go back um and yeah it's not overrated so when you guys do book let them know that who sent you toby sent you cool thank you guys for watching this video love you lots like jelly tots that i don't eat i'll see you guys very very soon with a vlog after here Mwah.